Hi, I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros. If you happen to be traveling in and around Chicago today, we've got rain on tap, 65 degrees cooler tomorrow with some morning rain and mostly cloudy and 65 on Thursday. On off to the east to New York City, where we expect to find 82 and sunny today, but some showers tomorrow at 73 and then 65 degrees by Thursday. Down to the south, we head over towards Atlanta. There's some morning fog in 86, be in the 80s with some scattered thunderstorms tomorrow. And then down to Miami, where we're likely to find an 88 degree high today tomorrow and Thursday in the mid 80s with some scattered showers and storms. Dallas, bit cooler, 71 degrees the high today, tomorrow 76, and on Thursday 85 degrees, getting a bit warmer there. Up to Denver, there we'll find sunny skies, but only 53 degrees today, up to 67 tomorrow and 71 degrees on Thursday. Around Phoenix, 90 today, sunny and 93 degrees tomorrow, 91 degrees on Thursday. To Los Angeles, they've got windy conditions today and 79 degrees and sunny. Sunny and 70 tomorrow and on Thursday, 68 degrees. Up we go to Seattle, where there'll be quite a bit of rain off and on for the next few days and temperatures in the mid-50s. To Minneapolis, where we're going to find plenty of sunshine, but look how chilly. 55 degrees today, tomorrow in the 60s, mid-60s on Thursday. Here in Chicagoland, you can expect to find temperatures going back up to the mid-70s by Friday. Here are your headlines from CBS Chicago. I'm Marissa Bailey. I'm Erin Kennedy. It's a prize given to the smartest money minds in the world, and a Chicago professor got the call. Dr. Richard Thaler from the University of Chicago was awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker takes a look at his groundbreaking theory. Please welcome the 2017 Nobel Prize winner in Economics, Richard Thaler. A standing ovation for the university's latest Nobel Prize winner. Just thanks to everybody. That's all. Professor Richard Thaler is being honored for his ability to create easy to understand scenarios that show how human behavior often contradicts traditional economic logic. Now this is a classic error. Thaler explained it best in his cameo appearance in the movie The Big Short when pop singer Selena Gomez is on a winning streak and believes she can't lose. In basketball it's called the hot hand fallacy. A player makes a bunch of shots in a row. People think whatever's happening now is going to continue to happen into the future. During the real estate boom, markets were going up and up, and people thought they would never go down. Thaler has written several books in his theory that too often economists assume people are rational, unemotional, and self-controlled, but they must consider human behavior. He got the call this morning acknowledging his groundbreaking work. My cell phone rang at four in the morning, so I had a pretty good idea. I'm happy that it happened and that it you know, I'm young enough to enjoy it. The prize comes with a million dollar check. What am I going to do with the money? Anytime I spend any money that's really fun, I'm going to say that came from the Nobel Prize. <laughs> Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Well, the Cubs are now on the verge of going back to the National League Championship Series. They beat the Nationals 2-1, to one, giving them a 2-1 lead in that series. Game 4 is today at Wrigley at 4.38 p.m. And for the very latest headlines, anytime, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. Safe travels.